Hi, all my sweet, wonderful yarny friends. How is everyone today? I'm Judy with Crochet Every Day with Judy, and I'd like to welcome you. And I have a few things to show you today and to talk to you about. The first thing is something that I've been making for um, a number of months ever since the pandemic started and we heard about um, all the doctors and nurses who have to wear the PPE every day, uh, the personal protective equipment, and they and others who have to wear masks all day long were finding that the mask, uh, the, the loops that go around the ears really irritate the backs of the ears. So I found a pattern, a uh, free pattern on Ravelry, and I'll link it uh, in the description box, of ear savers. And these are simply crocheted little pieces that you sew buttons onto, and then you can uh, loop. This goes on the back of the neck, the back of the head. My son wears his way up here. Um, so it's back there, and then you loop the strings of your mask around the buttons so that it's still fastened because this is holding it, but the, the uh, loops of the mask then don't irritate the ears. So I've made quite a number of these and given them to our local hospital. The nurses really like them, and I've given them to other departments in the hospital as well. Besides the, um, the strip, I also have made, these are on ponytail holders, and so you can uh, put your hair up if, if women want to put their hair up in a ponytail, and then the buttons are still there and they can loop the uh, strings of the mask around the uh, buttons on the ponytail holder. These are little um, ladybugs and pumpkins. Those are sparkly. I love shiny sparkly stuff. And I just make these in whatever yarn that I have. I use up scraps. Um, those are cute little monkey faces for the buttons there. And uh, Hobby Lobby has these great plastic buttons that work really well because the um, uh, the uh, needle that you use to weave in your ends will go through these big holes in these buttons. So they're perfect for, for these. Um, and they come in all different shapes and colors as well. But if you would like to uh, help out um, anyone, and it doesn't even have to just be nurses and doctors, although I've given them to my uh, orthopedist's office. Um, I also gave them to the physical therapy department, but I, I have taken them to Walmart, and they were very appreciative. I've taken them to restaurants, um, the ones where you just go in and pick up your food and go, um, and they have to wear masks all day long, so they appreciated it. So grocery stores, any place where someone has to work all day long wearing a mask every day, and the ears get pretty irritated. So if this is something you'd like to make, I like I said, I will link the, uh, um, I will put the link to the pattern in the description box. But they're great things to just make and hand out. I've handed them out at my farmer's market. Yesterday, my son said he met uh, someone who had been given one at the farmer's market. I personally, I was at the farmer's market yesterday, but I wasn't handing out the ear savers but he met someone who had gotten one at the farmer's market. People were, someone was handing them out. So it's a great thing to do to help out those who have to wear masks all day long and their ears get irritated. Um, I have finished the Cressida shawl and I love how it came out. I just love those jewel tones. And I told about it before I used the Bumbo Moonlight fingering weight yarn 
from Hobie and it's in uh, the Colorway Galaxy. I just love those colors. So that's a finished object. I also have made, I've made these before. It's a red chili bookmark. Um, for those of us who live in New Mexico, chili, green chili, they look the same as this, only they're green, and red chili, it's the absolute best. If you've never smelled green chili roasting, it's the best fragrance in the world. I've always wished someone would make a, uh, a candle with the roasting green chili fragrance. I believe they would sell big time in the Southwest. So these are, I've, like I said, I've made lots of these and given them out. Um, and it's just a great pattern. And I'll put that link in the description box as well. Um, Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming came up with what she calls Crochet Mad Mimi Famous Back Shower Scrubber. It won't all fit in the picture, but there it is. The middle is made with cotton yarn and scrubby yarn, and then the ends are made with the cotton yarn. Laura is willing to give this pattern out to anyone who wants it, providing you promise to make at least one to give to your local women's shelter. So that's where this one will be going. And I really appreciate that pattern from Laura. Um, I will link her uh, YouTube channel in the description box. I crocheted a washcloth. I do a lot of washcloths. I do them all different shapes and sizes. Um, but if you know how to single crochet, uh, half double crochet, double crochet, any of those, you can make a washcloth easily. All you have to do is chain the number of stitches to go the, the width that you want, and then just keep crocheting up until it's the size that you want. So those are fast and easy things to do. I also have some uh, whips going on. This one is the brain beanie, and this is the beanie part that you start. Here are the brains. You have to we, uh, crochet about 12 feet of this. And when it's done, you will put it on the hat and just um, position it to look like the brains on the hat. So that's, it's kind of a fun project. I'm also doing um, a, a, a t-shirt and it's, I'm sorry, I'm looking for my pattern. My Favorite Tea Crochet Pattern by Brienne at hookedonhomemadehappiness.com. And I'm using Kobu yarn. This is a number three weight. It's 51% cotton, 49% rayon from bamboo. 232 yards. It's very, very soft, and I'm just really hoping that um, I enjoy wearing it when I finish it, but I'm looking forward to finishing it. So, how's your weather? Ours finally has warmed up again. I'm very, very happy about that. One other whip that I have going is a uh, an afghan called the Lost Garden Afghan, and I've just barely started it by Helen Shrimpton. I always have quite a few whips going on because if I get bored with something, then I move to something else, but I eventually finish all of them. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, whichever day this is, whether it's on, you see this video on Sunday or on Monday or whatever day. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I do want to give some shout outs uh, and a big thanks to Jane at Scraptastic Yarns. She has watched my the very few videos that I've done, and she sent so many people to my channel, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Jane. Um, another person, uh, two or three people actually, uh, who have encouraged me to start posting videos on my channel. One of them is Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. And she goes live on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Time, which is 6 p.m. here in Mountain Time. Um, 
she really encouraged me to start posting videos and I thank her for that. So hi, Sandy, and thank you so much. Another big encourager is Priscilla at Distinctive Crochet. And Priscilla um, makes beautiful designs. She designs crocheted clothing and accessories um, and she's incredible. Something going on over at Llama Unraveled is the yarn clue game. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. Um, and if I look to one side or the other, it's because I'm thinking. I noticed I do that in my in my videos. If I'm uh, talking about something and can't complete my thought, I kind of look over to, to finish it. Um, but Elisa at Llama Unraveled is doing the yarn clue game. So go over and check out her channel and get in on the yarn clue game. She's also starting a 40 shawl journey. She wants to make 40 shawls by next May, and I really think she'll do it. She's a young mom with uh, little children, but I think she'll do it. And she also is a great designer. So check her out, Elisa at Llama Unraveled. Uh, Terry Modis is a, a new channel, and Terry also lives here in New Mexico, just about an hour away from me. And one of these days we will meet up. Um, so, and, uh, Terry was very encouraging when she saw my first video. Um, and she's a very sweet person. So check out her and that, that's just the name of her channel. Uh, Terry Modis, it's T-E-R-R-I, I believe, M-A-R-E-S. Um, and again, I'll link, uh, Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming in the description box. Uh, Laura at Mad, Mim Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. She's... Um, I love her channel besides the crochet. She is a farmer. She has goats and geese and chickens and, and you can see her going through the um, incubating process for the chicken and the goose and duck eggs and um, she she does it day by day so that you can see how close they're getting to hatching and then she also shows you all of her wonderful farm animals. So that's a great uh, channel as well. Another channel I want to give a shout out to is Off Kilter Homestead. Haas at Off Kilter Homestead is running the hashtag Harvest Moon giveaway. You just have a couple of days to get in on it and there are I believe about 76 channels involved in this. It's a lot like the uh, Christmas in July fairies giveaway that was hosted by Dana from Wanderlust Crochet. Um, Haas um, is hosting this with like I said about 76 channels including his. Um, you go and you watch their hashtag Harvest Moon giveaway uh, video and then you need to like uh, the channel. You have to live in the continental U.S. or Canada uh, because shipping is a big issue. And then you comment on what you love about fall or the harvest season. And they will be, actually one channel already did their drawing on the 10th, but most of them will be will be doing um, their semifinal drawings on September 17th. And then Haas will uh, collect all those semi-final winners. And on October 1st, he will have a drawing for the grand prize winner. A lot of the channels who are participating will give a prize to their semi-final winner. Um, and then when Haas draws the grand uh, drawing winner, that person will receive a gift from each of the 76 participating channels. So it's a really cool giveaway, a lot of fun. Go over and check out Haas at Off Kilter Homestead. And like I said, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, keep crafting, keep crocheting, and keep being kind to everyone, especially with prayers for all those affected by the fires. Uh, Oregon, California, Colorado, we have some in New Mexico. So please uh, give up prayers for all of those affected by the fires. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.